Good evening guys and welcome back to my channel. So tonight I'm going to share with you my current winter perfume rotation, the ones that I have out on my tray in my bedroom and these are the perfumes that I really want to give some love to. I really want to focus on wearing them. It is very very cold here right now so I'm looking toward my gourmand perfumes and my deeper darker richer perfumes and I also got a couple new ones in my collection that I want to give some love to. So yeah I think this is going to be my approach going forward. It's always having a few perfumes out on a tray to focus on because just because of the nature of my channel and getting so many new perfumes I have kind of accepted the fact that it's not going to stop I'm not going to reach a point where it's like okay I'm done I'm not getting any more perfumes it just isn't gonna happen <laughs> especially because this is such a huge passion for me and so this is kind of the approach I'm gonna be taking and I wanted to share with you my December lineup so if you're interested then stay tuned and if this is your first time on my channel thank you so much for stopping by my name is Alithia and on this channel we do talk mostly about perfumes so if that is your thing please make sure to head on down and hit the subscribe button and with that out of the way let's get started okay guys so before we get into the perfumes I always do get questions in these videos about where I get my trays and decor and things like that and like the pictures that are on the walls so I will try to link as much as I can down below for you guys however my tray is from HomeSense so you kind of just have to like hunt around but I will see if I can find a similar tray and link it for you guys down below and also my dresser I get a lot of questions about my dresser when I um, show it in these videos and this is called the Shoal Creek Dresser and I absolutely love it. Um, it is from Amazon. So I will link that down below for you as well. And yeah, with that out of the way, let's get started in the perfumes. All right, so as per usual, this is just gonna be a really chill video. I am drinking some coffee, and this is just in one of the newest mugs I got from HomeSense, super cute. It's got like little speckles on it. I don't know if you can see that. Um, yeah, so just sipping on some coffee, and feel free to grab yourself a drink as well, and let's get into these fragrances. Okay guys, so I'm gonna try to make this as quick as I can without being too wordy about the perfumes. This perfume tray does comfortably hold about nine perfumes. Ideally, I wanted 10 just to make it a round number, um, but the 10th perfume just really threw a wrench into things and it didn't look proper. So I have three perfumes in the back, three in the middle, three in the front, and it just seems to comfortably hold that number. And I also feel like that's not too many or too few perfumes. I feel like it's enough that it gives me a little bit of variety and it gives me some options. And what I really tried to do was put perfumes on this tray that I could focus on on for the current weather that we're having which is very cold very snowy we are literally in like the depth of winter it's about as cold as it's gonna get and yeah so pretty much my most gourmand perfumes my most wintry perfumes um, yeah so let's get started with the back row so the first fragrance that I have in the very back is Ariana Grande Cloud 2.0 and this is a more intense version of the original Cloud and I did just tell you guys in a recent video I like this perfume but I'm not head over heels in love with it but I also told you guys I'm not going to be doing any more perfume declutters for a year so there will not be any more declutters um, except for like my 2021 year end. After that I'm not going to be letting go of any perfume until the end of 2022 so basically committing to trying these perfumes out out, seeing which ones work for me making sure that my tastes are not going to change too much over the year and that kind of thing so unless I absolutely hate it you know it's it's going to be sticking around this is essentially a true intense version of the original cloud you know how sometimes they come up with an intense perfume that's completely different from the original this one is not like that this one is a true intense version of the original I get a lot of whipped cream with this and it's basically just a kind of an airy gourmand that also has a bit of a back at rouge 540 vibe to it so if you're looking for a sweet gourmand um, whipped cream kind of a fragrance that really gives like BR 540 vibes definitely check this one out because it's obviously a fraction of the price Next to that, we have this absolutely stunning bottle, and this is Zerjoff Lyra. This is one of the few remaining niche perfumes that I actually have in my collection. I have become a bit of a basic girl, if I can say so myself. I have really gotten back to typical basic designer scents, I have to say. I have tried a lot of niche perfumes over the last few months, and I'm discovering that very, very few niche perfumes kind of stick around for me. I just find a lot of them kind of challenging and just not easy. Easy grabs if I'm being totally honest this is also not an easy grab for me um, this is a very very gourmand kind of a subtly spicy caramel vanilla e 
citrusy fragrance. It also has a little bit of cinnamon, I believe, in the middle, and I think there's another spice in there as well. So it does have a bit of a spicy kick, but this is one of the most delicious smelling gourmand perfumes I've ever, ever had. And if there was ever a time of year to wear it, it's now. So that's why it's on this tray. I'm hoping to give it some more love because after all, if I'm not wearing it, what is the point of having it? So this is Zerjaf Lira. Really love the bottle. Yeah, one of the few remaining niche perfumes that are actually still in my collection. Beside that one, we have a fragrance that is not particularly niche. This is what I would call a luxury perfume, luxury designer, so it's a little bit higher end. And this is Contre Moi from Louis Vuitton. And this is a recent love of mine. This is a kind of a powdery, green, herbal, ambrette type of a vanilla perfume. There's also a little bit of a chocolatey accord in here. And this basically just smells very luxe and very rich and very opulent. It's a beautiful, beautiful um, vanilla perfume that I wanna give a little bit more attention to. And again, this is the perfect time of year to wear it. Although I do think this is the kind of vanilla that you could probably get away with all year round, but I do want to give this one some attention. So and decided to put this one on the tray. Really, really love that one. And I'm a huge Louis Vuitton fan. I love the bottles, love everything about them. So that takes care of our back row. So jumping to the middle row, we have Kaoli Vanilla 28. And look at how dark this juice is getting, you guys. I'm so impressed by that. I love the idea that vanilla perfumes get darker and better with age. Um, because it makes me less scared to leave them sitting on the shelf for a while. So this is kind of a brown sugary vanilla orchid fragrance. This actually has some tonka bean in it as well. It is a little bit more floral, especially when you get a brand new bottle. It's a little bit more floral and light and airy, and it's not so like rich, dark, opulent, opulent vanilla. This one is quite rich and dark though at this point. Let me actually just take the cap off and refresh my nose here. Yeah, this is so good, you guys. This is so good. I absolutely love this fragrance. And I have given myself permission to start wearing this one again because I do currently have two backups. I'm so grateful. I have two backups in my collection. It always seems to be sold out, but lately they've had more in stock. This is one of my favorite vanillas of all time. Absolute favorite. So girly, so easy to wear, very sweet. Just a beautiful, beautiful vanilla and just mass pleasing easy to love. So I did decide to pull this one out and put it on my tray because I'm allowed to wear it again. <laughs> For a while there, I was scared to wear it because I didn't want to run out and I couldn't find a backup. So this is a little 50 ml bottle. My backups are hundreds. So pretty happy about that, about having some backups. Beside that one, we have Dolce & Gabbana, the only one intense, sorry, not intense, the original, the only one. And this is a kind of a floral, powdery, caramel coffee fragrance, and I really, really like it. Um, let me just take the lid off here because I haven't smelt it lately. This is kind of a, um, I guess, mature, sophisticated, sweet coffee scent. It's a little bit more sophisticated than something like black opium, I would say. A little bit more dressed up. Um, it's really, really nice and really enjoyable and very sweet and very caramelly, and I really, really like it. So this one I put on my tray because I honestly don't give it enough love. And historically, I have had problems doing that with a lot of my perfumes. I don't give a lot of my perfumes enough love. Like this one I think would be a great date night perfume or going out to dinner, but the reality is I don't spend most of my life doing fancy things, so I need to just wear my perfume. So anyways, this is Dolce & Gabbana, the only one. And yeah, I really like that one. Really nice and sweet. So, you know, I have to say that it wouldn't be a favorite. Like I really like it, but this is probably a seven out of 10 for me, if I'm being perfectly honest. Whereas like Cali Vanilla is more of a 10 out of 10, if I'm being totally honest. Um, so beside that, we have a new one to my collection, and this is Givenchy L'Enterdi Rouge. So if you guys watched my most recent video, I did talk about how normally I am not a tuberose person and I have a hard time with tuberose. And for some reason, this one doesn't bother me. I really, really, really like this one, you guys. This is a kind of a spicy, a little bit of a sweet, orangey, tuberose kind of a vanilla sandalwood fragrance. Actually, I don't know if there is vanilla in here, but on my skin, I don't think there's vanilla in here, but on my skin when this dries down, it becomes like this 
sweet, creamy, just intense, alluring, beautiful, sexy fragrance. The sandalwood, it's just very creamy. Very, very nice fragrance, you guys. I love this. Also has amazing performance. Um, actually, I wanna smell this one too. Yeah, this one is very, very bold, very intoxicating, amazing performance. Um, it's, it's just, it's amazing. And on the skin, you guys, this is so good. Like if you've only ever tried this on paper, trust me, do yourself a favor and put it on your skin and see what happens because it is so much better on skin than it is on paper. And so this one's out on the tray because it's new and I really want to wear it. I wanna give it some love, so. That is L'Entredi Rouge. And that concludes our second row. So moving on to our third row, we have Mangalan Intense, which is a all-time favorite perfume of mine. If you guys watch my channel, you already know this. And the reason I have it on my tray is because this is an easy reach for me. This is an easy, don't have to think too hard, everyday kind of a perfume. Whereas something like the L'Entredi Rouge, I feel like I have to be in the mood for that one, like it's a little bit more special. Um, but this one's just very easy to wear. Same thing with the Kaali Vanilla and I think the Ariana Grande Cloud Intense. They're pretty easy to grab and wear. So this one I have out because you need an easy grab and go. And this is perfect for winter, very sultry. It's basically a heavier vanillic version of the original Mangerlan and I absolutely love it. And when this one runs out, I would love to get a 100 ml bottle depending on what happens this year, because I have a feeling I'm gonna be getting a lot of new perfumes this year. So that is Mangerlan Intense, love that one. And beside that one, we have another one that is pretty new to my collection. And this is M. Mikalef Note Vini. And this is a really unique fragrance, you guys. This is a very beautiful, easy to wear, delicious, kind of a sweet, woody, boozy vanilla. What this reminds me of, and I've told you guys, is it actually reminds me of about 70% Jessica Simpson Fancy, 20% Kaali Vanilla, and about 10% Killian Angel Share. So it has a little bit of a spicy, woody booziness to it. Just just ever so slightly, but it is mostly this kind of sweet, enjoyable, cozy vanilla. It is heaven, you guys. It is so good. Longevity is great. Um, I just love this. This is one of my new favorite vanillas in my entire collection, and I'm obsessed. So that is M. Mikalef Note Vini. Also the bottle. The bottle is so pretty. So really, really loving that one. And the last one on my tray is also a new one, and this is Armani C Intense. This is the 2021 version. Now you guys, I did manage to find a previous reformulation of C Intense in the black bottle, and it's coming, and I'm so excited because that one is very heavy in vanilla, where this one actually doesn't have vanilla. This one has benzoin and patchouli, and this one is kind of like a, like an ambery green, bitter, almost kind of a syrupy, black currant, rose, benzoin patchouli. <laughs> so it's kind of a mishmash. Let me actually take the cap off and refresh my nose. Yeah, but it's beautiful. It is classy, it is beautiful, it is syrupy, it is warm, it's really, really nice. And you guys, I don't know what happened, but I never used to like this scent. I really did not like this when it came out and it's like all of a sudden I can't get enough black currant. I don't know what it is. I think my nose has changed and I think I've just smelled so many perfumes over the last two years now that I've been doing this, smelling so many, literally hundreds of perfumes. And I think my nose is just more well-rounded now and I can kind of tell what works for me, what doesn't work, what I like. I just have like a broader perspective now and I think coming back to certain perfumes like this one, I just have a new perspective basically. Yeah, I really like it. Very feminine, very mature, sophisticated, elegant, um, just an absolutely beautiful, beautiful fragrance, you guys, and the dry down of this is heaven. So this is Armani C Intense. And that is the last one on my tray. So you guys, that basically wraps up the current perfume rotation that I have for the month of December. Hopefully I can keep these out for a while. I am anticipating a few more fragrances because of certain partnerships that I have and stuff like that. Um, but these are kind of the current nine that I want to give my most attention to. So I think it actually works out pretty good because I think I have something in here for every occasion. I've got date night perfumes. I've got casual grab and go every single day. I've got cozy perfumes for when it's really, really cold outside. I have a couple of newbies that I really want 
to give some love and attention to. So I think there's a pretty well-rounded variety of perfumes on this tray. And yeah, once I get tired of some of these, I can just switch them out. And I think that's going to be my approach going forward because it's the only way I'm actually going to be able to wear all the perfumes that I have and all the perfumes that are going to be coming into my collection. So yeah. And that is about it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know down below how you rearrange your perfumes and how you choose what perfumes are going to be on your tray. I always love hearing how people arrange their perfumes and how people choose what they're going to wear and what they're going to keep out and things like that. And I'll see you guys all very soon. Bye for now. So that was it for today's video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again very soon in my next one. Bye for now.